What is going on, guys? All right, Alistair over here. Let me get in the middle. Uh, so today it's kind of something new. Uh, you know, I've never really done this before. Never re reviewed a skate before, so that's kind of a big deal. Don't you think? I think so. Uh, you know, I played hockey my whole, almost my whole life. Uh, I would get a hard pick up and stuff like that. Gonna play on the league soon. Uh, so you know, I know what I want. I've had many, many skates in my life. This first time reviewing a skate, so kind of tell you specs, what I like in a skate, would I buy it again, you know, stuff like that. So let's get it. So first off, I'll obviously show you the skate. So it's the CCM 9050 CCM Dax. Uh, a bit of history about this first though. So these were back in the day, like, um, um, 1970s, 1960s even, when my dad was growing up when he used to play hockey. These were kind of the go-to skates. These two were like really, really good quality skates. They still are to this day. Very reasonable pricing, you know, nothing too expensive. You can get a great skate with a CCM tax for not that expensive. So, you know, if you have a budget and you need to stick with it, like, you know, 170, 180, you know, I got obviously mine on sale because it was twenty five percent off uh, at Sportium, so I got mine for one seventy five. You know, a bit like one fifty, one forty five. Uh, but still, you know, so one seventy for a good, great skate is really good, and there's honestly not that much difference between, um, uh, you know, one of these high end skates and one of the, the kind of budget skates. There's not really that big of a difference, and if you're just playing like not that competitive. I, there's not you won't really notice that big of a difference uh so i'll get into this uh so first off we notice that it's yellow all around um so that means that it's a you know you have an average width of your foot so obviously you know you it's it's to size so you see like you realize like okay i have above average so you'll get a green and a, if you if you have a, like a, a, a thinner a less wide uh foot You'll, you'll get a, a red. So we're gonna start at the bottom. Uh, and go right at the top. So as you notice, it's stainless steel blade. Uh, you know, it's normal. Every, every, uh, almost every shade has that. So, so I'm gonna add, uh, it's a steel blade holder. Uh, it's, and it's, you see it has, how it's elevated. It's an elevated holder. For a raised attack angle, um, you know, really helpful. Uh, next, we'll go off the boot. Uh, so it's very stiff. And it's just kind of like, it's a stiffer personalized fit. So it makes it a personalized fit. So really, when you put on the skate, you feel like it's your, like it's meant to be in your foot. You know, when I put them on for first, I was like, man, these are actually really comfortable for a skate. You know, we know, we normally realize that skates aren't that comfortable but this one for a hockey seat that's not meant to be that comfortable it really is uh you know and obviously because it's so stiff it's really durable so it's gonna last you a long long time so even if you play hockey a long time uh you know it'll last you you know if you go hard and you play like two three times a week um this skate will last you a good good long time uh you know if not, some skates that you have to throw out with, within the year, uh, you know, if you skate on it almost every week, you can hit it five years, ten years, maybe, not ten years, but like five, maybe four years in a skate. Uh, really, really good quality. So I'll get into the tongue. Uh, so as you see, it's very thick, and it's kind of like injected foam all the way down, very low on. It's very, very low. Uh, and so the one thing that they've changed from the 9040 to the 9050 tax is that they increased the tongue. Uh, so it used to be five millimeters, now it's seven. Um, so they did this, well, for two reasons mainly. Uh, three, really. So for security, uh, you know, for lace bite, for our hockey pucks, the shin, we know they hurt a lot. Both of these things are hurt. And they happen to us often, hockey players. So that's two. That's kind of like the under the bad term of security. Uh, 
And then the second half, it's a lot comfortable. Uh, you know, it's very comfortable up against your your, your ankle and, and your foot. Very, very comfortable. Very, very soft. You know, very, very padded. So if you're skiing hard and you're stopping you're on a dime, you know, it's not going to hurt. Uh, so, yeah, that's why that is. And then uh, we'll talk about, like, the outsole, the, uh, the padding in here. So it's a uh, HD microfiber, uh, very, very fluffy. Uh, so very, very comfortable. Again, it's a comfort. It's water. I've played in a lot of skates. Uh, I've talked to other people saying that like skates aren't comfortable. They're not meant to be comfortable, but this one generally is like one of the most comfortable skates I've ever been in. You know, I have my foot has been growing. I started playing with hockey when I was six. I mean, I'm 19 right now. I've kind of like my foot has growing constantly so i've been through like 10 pairs of skates uh they never were as comfortable as these pairs of skates um you know and what's good about this is that you know we sweat we sweat playing hockey people sweat playing hockey so this is microfiber so it kind of absorbs so it's not gonna be wet your feet's not gonna be uncomfortable so it's really a high comfort high performance um shoe it's not shoe uh it's a, i'm you know <coughs> first time so you know confusing shoe skate shoe skate you know japanese people they call it a shoe but uh what else uh and so the again another big pro is that the weight is arguably one of the lightest skates i've ever felt so with a size 90 size 9 i believe in American, because we're in North America, so size nine. The weight's about 820 grams, so really light. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of shocked about how light it is. Uh, and then I'll talk about aesthetics nowadays. Now, so the one thing I really find cool is the bottom. You know, it's very shiny. This is really cool. That's kind of concaved, as we see, you know, from like down to here. So that really helps with the energy and the kinesthetics. Uh, and then again, like this is really cool. Uh, the back I find really super cool, like the CCM and like the the, the yellow. Uh, it's really grown on me. Was never really big fan of yellow, but you know you have to get what you have to get right. My foot is a average width, um, but still really cool. The laces are super cool. Uh, overall, a really aesthetical fit, aesthetical design. Um, really really cool. You see the front and the CCM. Um, really comfortable. I love the back too. Again, this little thing. Uh, you know, overall, a really, really good fit. Go you know, really comfortable. Uh, they definitely went the extra mile. Uh, and I think I forgot to mention when we were talking about the tongue. See over here, these little uh, arrows. So these are grip. You can probably hear me putting it like that here too. Uh, this is for um, so the laces don't fall down. Uh, so they stick tight. They stick together, um, so that they you know they really thought of everything basically. Uh, you know I've only tried them once obviously, so I can't really tell you like you know, everything about it if it like, if it if it's durable blah blah. But I I truly believe it will be a durable based on what I've seen from it so far and and other reviews that I've looked at. Uh, so I skated on it once as I said. You know, ice conditions were really bad. Ice was really bad. But, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful skate. You know, I could stop on a dime, you know. you yeah, And, you know, obviously when your skates get fresh sharpened, right, they're beautiful. You know, you could see the kind of like the, the, the traces of your skate after when you moved them on the ice. Uh, you know, stop on a dime, really, really comfortable. Honestly, like one of the most comfortable skates I've ever, ever played in. Uh, you know, I just skated around for a bit, you know, an hour, you know, got a few of them, didn't play any games, shot around, did some drills, blah, blah, blah. did some skating, but really, really comfortable shoe, not shoe, boot, skate. Uh, so, you know, I'm definitely going to keep on playing with them. I uh, might do some intramurals this season. And uh, so I'll definitely give you guys, uh, you know, a review in the future. To tell you how like how I'm liking it, uh, if you guys should, I'll keep you updated on like 
if there's any problems with it, blah, blah, blah. But that's all. You know, definitely would buy. Again, great shoe. Oh, my gosh. Why am I saying shoe again? I've done shoe reviews my whole life, entire life. First skate review. And I'm saying shoe, shoe, shoe. My goodness. But, uh, yeah. So, that's about that. And, uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas. You know, it's the Christmas season. I don't know if I'm posting this beforehand, but it's the 23rd. So, that is before Christmas. So, I don't know if I'm going to post before or after. But, anyways, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And, uh, thank you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys.